Hey guys, welcome to the Matt and Summer YouTube channel. I'm Tom, Jazz is with me today. Hey guys. And if you're new here, we talk luxury properties across the UK. Today, we're outside Deer's Leap, this incredible home just behind me. Now we're in Maidens Grove, which is a little hamlet situated right near Henley on Thames. We'll pop a map up on the screen so that you can get your bearings and really appreciate where we are in the country. This property is listed for £3.5 million with Damien from Luxury Property Partners. Now, Matt and Summer are actually the co-founders of Luxury Property Partners alongside Tyler and Damien. So if you have a luxury property that you're trying to sell in the UK and you want the best marketing opportunity the UK has to offer, go to the description below and inquire through those details you'll see down there. But this property behind me is 6,000 square feet. It's got five bedrooms, three of which are en suite, and it's situated on a 1.2 acre plot. So can't wait to show you inside, but first, we're gonna show you a little bit out the front. Should we get going, Jazz? Let's do it. Let's do it. So we're at the front entrance now, just coming through the electronic gate, keeping you nice, private, and safe. We're going to this driveway now, this stone driveway, which actually has enough room to fit 10 cars. Wow. There's also a two car garage around the corner too. So plenty of space for parking your vehicles. This is one of two entrances I feel would be great for guests to enter the house, show them that real grand entrance that we're gonna show you soon. But then there's actually another entrance around this side of the property you near know, that block paving section, which you probably use more when you actually live here because it's right by that kitchen, it's very practical. We're actually going past the green face of the house now where they've painted that. And I think that just really adds to that woodland feel. We're right in the heart of the trees here and there's actually a hedge that goes all the way around this property, which really hides it. And it yeah. just looks very private and secluded. It's it kind of blends nice. in. Yeah, it? it does blend in very well. And so, yeah, we're just outside the other entrance now. That's the, the other door, but we're gonna head back over to the other side and head in through the main entrance. So we will see you guys inside. Let's go. Okay guys, welcome inside. So we're in Deer's Leap now. It's an incredibly grand entrance hall. So we've got a custom staircase wow. immediately with the stainless steel all the way around, massive ceiling heights and a great feature chandelier. Yeah, that's pretty incredible. Over. Really pretty makes you feel like you're in the woodlands with like with leaf style. Ah, yeah. That's how I, I like initially that. feel from being here. So we're gonna head on into the lounge space now that's just next to us. This is a very good space. We've got in and out access, as you've just seen by how Jazz and I have come in here. This is more of a formal dining space, um, a lounge space, sorry. So you've got no TV on the wall, but it's a great place to sit with your guests, entertain them, and you've got great views out to the back. This property, yet again, is on 1.2 acres of land. So some great views out to the garden. Yeah, I think one of the coolest things about this room though, is that yeah. like bracket. Yes, that tri-pronged brace. Really nice angles in here. Yeah, definitely, right. So back out into the other side of this entrance space now I'm stood where Jazz was stood when I first walked in. We've got a chaise long here. It's a really nice area to just sit before you go out or even to just enjoy that view. It's a great access point to go out. It would be a great house for entertaining guests. Oh yeah, definitely. Like accommodating guests, drinks, parties. Ooh. You could have a really good time in here. I'm sure of that. We've got some unique wallpaper too. Oh yeah, fit in with yeah. that woodland theme. Exactly that. And we have a powder room to my right, down the end of this little hallway, and some storage for coats, like coat room. Now, one of the cool things about this property is the amount of glass they use. So these are sliding doors, as you can see. Oh wow. Yeah, they slide out like that, so you have access out to this huge terrace area, which we are gonna show you at the end of the video but to my right now, to your left, we have this huge glass area so that the dining space that we're gonna show you in there actually benefits from all the light you get from outside, which is a great use of space. Yeah, I think that's such a cool little addition to this house. Exactly that, so we've got the hard flooring initially when we come into this house, but now moving into this open plan dining area and the kitchen area, at the threshold where Jazz has stood now, it turns into these big tiles on the floor. And we've got massive open plan space now. So this is a great sofa area. It's nice with the open plan style where you have everything all inside this one room. So it'd be a great place to sit while someone's 
preparing some food maybe, you've got the TV on here, you could take the food from the kitchen, sit here and have a nice dinner in front of the TV with the fireplace just next to you. It's a very yeah, nice I like snug the space. Nice to have this rug as well, just keeping it a little bit more cosy mm. when you're sat inside this lounge area. And then yeah, the TV here, great space on the wall, hidden away. I like how it's all tucked in, it's very neat. Got a nice yeah. recessed area for the TV to sit inside. I just realised how big it is. Yeah, it's a big TV and then lots of storage here as well. So we're going to head on through to the kitchen area of this open plan space where we've actually got the fireplace the other side too. So you can enjoy, enjoy that it. fire from both areas of this room. Just behind me now, we've got a, a laundry space. We'll show you that briefly, but it's an incredible, incredible space. It's not your average utility room. It's oh, really no. nice and bright in here. At the moment it's being used for a little dog haven. Yeah. We've got some annex windows here which help keep it bright but it's nice and white. And then yeah, we've got a downstairs toilet here too. Yeah. Nice. Great. Some lots and lots of cupboard storage to my right. So then out in this open plan kitchen space now then, you're not short of high-end appliances in this kitchen. It's incredibly well equipped. We've got Gagging out fridge freezer units here, and these are humongous. I think that's the biggest fridge yeah, I've ever it's seen. A lot wider than you're used to seeing in any of the properties. Massive, massive fridge space. I like how that wine cooler is like placed there. Usually yeah. they're quite like, you know, tucked away. Yeah. But that one's just on display. It looks nice. Nice and neat, isn't it? Yeah. So we've got a dark wood theme going on here, along with the metal. We've got dishwasher just here, coffee machine there. We've actually got another dishwasher. That's my dream. Two dishwashers, <laughs> so you never have to wash up. Oh. But you have got a humongous sink if you need to. Got a, a nice deep shelf here that looks out into the garden so you can enjoy those views while you're preparing some food using the sink. A massive, massive built up kitchen here. So we've got a, yeah. a huge stainless steel island with the Gaganau induction hobs on top of it. Really good space to prepare food. Even those ovens are massive. Yeah, I mean, you can tell there's a chef here, right? <laughs> Look how big that oven is. Once again, just thinking how big their Christmas turkey is. Yeah, with that. Christmas turkey in there is gonna be pretty impressive. So that's a standard size oven as well, in case you need both of those. And we've got a microwave oven. But as I said, lots and lots of high-end kitchen appliances in here. So Definitely. very well equipped. As well as that, we actually have this breakfast bar feature at the end of this stainless steel built up kitchen island. And yeah, it's great to just keep the, the kitchen space separate where you'd yeah. prepare your food to where you'd actually eat it. It's really good Definitely. to have that option. Nice place to just have your breakfast on the go in the mornings. But yeah. you've also got this dining space here. I think this um, is one of my favorite areas. I really like it. With the nice big table with great views out to the back garden. You can see the terrace from here too. And we've got this sort of like a privacy screen in the summer when it's really hot and the sun's coming in through those windows. We keep it nice and cool. But so yeah, it's nice to have that area next to the kitchen, formal dining space with access out to that back terrace. Yeah. I so like guys, it. there's another feature in this property which is very unique, very incredible. We're gonna show you down. There is a basement set up and it's like a man cave. So oh, yeah. head on down and we will show you what that looks like. So we're down in this snug space now. What an incredible place to have. I love it. The low ceilings make it feel so much more cozy as yeah, well. Yeah, great place to sit and enjoy a movie, got like a movie setup here. We've also got another dining area set up, so you can bring some food down here. The kitchen's just above. Oh yeah, is that and a little message on there? Yeah, make sure you like and subscribe, guys. <laughs> and we actually also have a table tennis table. Oh my so gosh. I think, Jazz, if you're up for it, we should have a little go. Should we have a go? Yeah. Okay. Come on. Yeah, so incredible space. We've also got access out to the back garden where there is an incredible seating area too. Perfect for this sort of area. You know, you've got the kitchen above, you can bring food all the way down into here. Come in here when it's not so nice, but in the summer, you've got access. You could leave those doors open. People yeah. could be in and out. This house would be great for hosting. Definitely. Parties and dinner parties as such, lovely. Okay, so I'm gonna head back up now. There's a few more rooms on the ground floor that we're gonna show you, so let's head over. So guys, first we're gonna head over onto this sort of wing of the house. We're gonna head on through here. There's actually access from the front drive through this front door here as well. 
There are two staircases at either side of this house. So as well as in the front where we first came in, the front entrance, you've also got, yeah, this access up to the top. So Jazz is just in the garage now. It's a two car garage. You know, you can fit 10 cars on the front drive comfortably, but you've also yeah. got this private, hidden away, two car garage slot space, sorry, for all of your cars through here. Another incredible feature of this house. Yeah, I love this bit. It just has so much to offer this place. It's got its own private gym, a mirror that side, which is essential when you're working out. If you've been to any gym ever, yep. always a mirror. <laughs> we've got access out to the back here, and we've got like annex windows up top, bringing all of that light in, as well as speakers in the ceiling. Yeah, and two TVs, so when you're on like the treadmill, you can like yeah. watch the TV. So we're gonna go back into that open plan lounge space now. So the first room we're gonna show you is this study area. It's gonna be a perfect place working from home like we said about with the gym. You've got your whole work set up here. You wouldn't really, you really wouldn't have to leave this house. No, yeah, it's Goes got everything. Go to the gym, you've got the kitchen there, the outside space. Yeah, it's an incredible property and it needs a study. So it's good that it's got that office space if you to be doing your work at. And then we've got a formal dining area here. We've got 10 seater dining area in here. Oof. Nice moody room. Got I like the lights on the ceiling, oh, on the walls, sorry. On the walls, yeah, yeah. The sort of, yeah, it's like the wall lights, aren't they? So they climb up the walls. And we've also got a grand piano and this fireplace as well here. So it'd be nice and toasty. It'd be a great place to have your Christmas dinner. <laughs> oh yeah. A huge feature on the table right now. Big plant. Yeah, it's a bit hard, hard not to notice that. And then this massive window that we spoke about when we came through the entrance where you can see all the way through into that garden. So yeah, we're gonna head back across now into the, the, to the front entrance where we first came in, that big staircase. I love this corridor, it's yeah. just so bright. Yeah, so we're gonna head to the uh, top floor now and show you all the bedrooms. So Jazz is gonna do that and we'll meet you guys up there. Let's go. Let's go. All right, guys, so we are now on the first floor of this awesome house. And straight away, we have the view of the chandelier, but up close, you can see all the details and it truly is extravagant, I'll tell you that. Now, opposite the staircase, when you first come up, we have doors to a Juliet balcony that just brings in all this light and really illuminates this area. Now, coming on this way, have you noticed these, Tom? They have like little holes little, in Little walls. light holes, yeah. yeah and just illuminates the floor as well. I think it's a nice touch. It'd be nice at night time. Yeah. You walk into the toilet. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, a good point. I think this is my favorite space in the whole house. It's just this really well lit part in the hallway. We've got these skylights with that gorgeous chandelier that really reflects all the lights. It kind of looks like shredded metal almost. Yeah. And then we have a balcony there, once again with the glass paneling either side. So much light flooding in all the time. So now, guys, we're going to take you into the principal bedroom. And me and Tom love this bedroom, don't we? Wow. Yeah, it's such a massive space. So spacious. And then immediately when you walk in, we've got these ginormous wardrobes. Personally, I wouldn't be able to keep anything up there because yeah. you can't reach. <laughs> but I like the fact that they've all got mirrors as well. Now, wow. Yeah, that's it's big. It's huge. Like, if I go all the way into the corner, you're like a little dot. I'll do the same. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Huge. We've got this double bed, it's quite low, which is, I like that. Yeah. With a nice skylight above. And one thing I've noticed in this house is the lights in some of the bigger rooms are these spotlights that hang on this wire. Yeah. Which is a cool effect. Yeah. Now, we're just going to go on into the ensuite first. Once again, such a spacious room. I'm a fan of the tiles. On the wall, you've got the glass tiles contrasting the marble ones. And the honeycomb tiles, Tom, they're like mosaic tiles in like hexagons. Me and Tom like to call them honeycomb tiles because that's what it reminds us of. <laughs> yeah. And we've got a standalone bath along with a nice mirror and dual sinks. And in the shower, the floor is hard to notice now, but the floor slants downwards. So obviously yeah. when you do shower, the water just yeah, it's away. all nice and open, but yeah, that water flows into the drain, exactly. as it should. Now, another great thing about this room is the fact that we have this little seating area here on a rug, makes it feel more cozy. Let's go out. 
Wow. Wow, what a view out to the back of the property. Oh, no, look at that. This spot is so awesome. We've got some chairs set up out here. It'd be so nice to read a book in the morning, don't yeah. you think? Yeah, it'd just be nice. enjoy the morning sun, evening sun, just yeah, you've got the spotlights here as well, so if it does go dark, you can still chill in this nice spot. It should be really good. Yeah, what a great place to view your house yeah. from as well. <laughs> yeah, you can see everything. Yeah. Right. Now we're going to come back out of the principal bedroom. We do have a little dressing table there, which is nice, in front of a window, so good lighting for any yeah. makeuping. Yeah. yeah. Right. I'm going to take you into another bedroom. I really like the decor in this bedroom. It has a really cool map where you scratch off where you've oh, been yeah. in the world. <laughs> but yeah, I love this. We've got the window above the bed, spotlights, and also speaker in the ceiling. So well equipped. And across from here, we have a shared bathroom and we've got the pink standalone bath, which matches the mosaic tiles in the shower. Yeah. And this nice, like, I'd say quite like, old fashioned corner. Corner cabinet, cabinet yeah. yeah. Nice effect. All right, now we're coming out and across into what seems to be an office. <laughs> Tom, look at this. Oh, oh, wow, the clock's wagging its tail. The clock's <laughs> wagging its tail. It's a clock of spaniel. <laughs> That's smart, that is. But yeah, we have a nice study room here. It's nice that it's separate from the bedroom next to it. I can imagine it's in like, uh, not a child, but like a teenager, so yeah. uni. Yeah, yeah, separate room. office slash study space where you don't have to go downstairs to yeah, the one exactly. we showed you earlier, yeah. Keeping it separate. We like to keep home and work life separate, so yes. perfect bit. Right, now we're gonna come down here into what I assume is the guest bedroom. Oh, wow, yeah. I've noticed it's very nice lit room, nice double bed. I'm like Really wooden, cozy, this. Yeah, cozy wooden features, and it's also got an ensuite. Ooh, I think this is my favorite en suite. You know, I love the design. It's yeah. got the stone tiles. Yeah, you like the villa tiles. style, don't you? Yeah, and it matches the floor as well, and it just runs throughout. It's also got a really cool gold mirror here. Oh, yeah? Now, oh, we've got like a little part, yes. section of the room, and that suitcase is very ominously used. Yeah, it looks like there's think? a prize in there waiting for us. Like a pile of gold or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, back out into the hallway. I'm like the rug and Yeah, just... the circle mirror as well, it's a nice yeah. little feature. Oh, circle mirrors. <laughs> <laughs> now coming through here, we've got storage on my right along here as well. And we're actually on the landing for the other staircase that kind of comes off the kitchen, as you can see here, nice chandelier. And we're gonna go down there in a second, but first I'm gonna show you the last bedroom. Now this is a ginormous bedroom once again. Look how much space there is. There's yeah, room for a big area. double bed, and we've got a little little gap here for a window. Yeah. That looks out back. This is a great space for like a young adult, like yeah. you said before, teenager. I suppose you've got the study on this floor too. Yeah. So you could have all of your work separated from that. It's a great place to. Definitely, and we're really at the end chill. of the yeah. hallway here, and then it's also got a little ensuite. I like how the sink is tucked away in that gap there. Yeah. With the window. Shower and black yeah. tiles. Yeah, the dark tiles on the floor. Yeah. Right, coming back on out, Tom. Yeah. We're gonna take you into the garden. Now I'm really excited to show you this. I know Tom is as well, yeah. because it is gorgeous. Massive it's garden. Just place. under 1.3 acres of land. That's yeah. incredible. It's pretty mega. So let's go down and we'll so check it out. Go. Let's go. <laughs> Okay guys, so you join us now out the back of the property. So I'm on the terrace area right now, which you can actually access from four different places. So we can access it in the first lounge room that we saw at the start of the video, the entrance hall as well as the corridor through to the open plan lounge living space. It's actually an entrance in the open plan lounge living space. And there's one in the kitchen as well. So that's five points. My bad, I got that wrong. <laughs> But now we're on this huge open terrace space, which will be the perfect entertaining spot for your guests. It's an incredible area with these glass balustrades looking out through into the garden. You can really get a great aspect of the property down here. They've really used the way the hill slopes very well, I think. 
because the whole property is actually banked down where Jazz is stood right now is completely below ground at the front. Oh yeah. So they've used the space very well. It's like a tiered garden setting. We've got a nice seating area here as well as all of this lovely open space for entertaining your guests. And if you were wondering what those white balls are, I believe they're lights. Yeah. They're not oddly shaped and sized yoga balls. So we have some more seating areas as well. So we're gonna show you those now. There's a benched area here sat looking back at the property, which I think is a great idea because it is such a nice looking house. Being able to sit here, to be proud of the creation would be a, oh, yeah. a good feeling. But yeah, to be able to look back at your house especially when it looks like this, would be great. So I like the landscaping with like the gravel and the grass. Yeah, it is nice. Yeah, it really switches it up. Got the green paint that we had out the front as well, which just helps feel like you're really in that nature. It's nice and hidden. It's a great spot, this. This is actually the basement that we saw in the tour as well. So you could come out of here, sit in this seating area, and then hop back in, watch a movie, play some table tennis, yeah. whatever you fancy. It's a great area. Look how many people you could fit around this table as well. It's I actually think, huge. Yeah, I like the way the benches curve around it as well. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah, it's massive. And then we've got some nice garden space. As you can see, we're tucked in really nicely around in the garden by these hedges. Makes you feel really nice and private again. Such a secluded house, but secluded in the best way possible. And this bit's very picturesque. Yes, yeah, so we've got a blossom. nice blossom tree dropping all of its pink blossom. And we've actually got another terrace area up here too. So I'll head up there now. You can access this from the kitchen as well. Massive area here, so more seating areas, overlooked from that laundry room that we saw and accessed from the kitchen as well. And then just in front of me now, we have this area. Hello, mate. Oh <laughs> Seen <God>. this guy? <laughs> this is currently cool. mowing the lawn. Yeah, it's a uh, robot lawnmower. Cool. so you don't have to waste manpower yeah. but yeah this is the entrance to the gym so you can come straight out into the garden as well and where our friend the lawnmower is <laughs> we also have a nice shed you can access the garden this side too from the side access there's a gate at both sides hey, so Tom, i bet he's called mo <laughs> yes mo what are you saying <laughs> <laughs> so yeah come on around then Most we've actually got massives of open green space as well in this back garden so it's a 1.2 acre plot loads of open green space like i mentioned before there's dogs here so i'm sure they enjoy yeah. marching around all of this garden space it's good i like the fact that it's on a hill like you said so it kind of like there's like rolling green hills yes, in your garden exactly with loads of trees as well exactly yeah and they've got a nice big black summer house at the top of the garden too it could possibly be like an office setup maybe even another gym yeah or just somewhere to keep your tools organized in the garden. But yeah, we've got loads of different little areas of this garden. And there's so many little paths that you could hop Nooks around, you could explore. It'd be like the perfect hide and seek home as a kid. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, this is Deer's Leap behind me. It's an incredible property. We've really enjoyed touring around it, but we are not done for this video. We're gonna head on into the local area and just get a bit of a feel for what it would be like to live here. So we're gonna bring you guys with us gonna head out there and we'll meet you guys out there I suppose. Yeah, you ready let's Jazz? Go. You now join us only a moment's walk away from the property in this gorgeous countryside setting. We are in the Chilton Hills just above Stoner Valley and having all this on your doorstep is why Maidens Grove is such an amazing place to live. And on top of that we're only a five mile drive away from Henley on Thames. So slightly further away from the house, we have the Five Horseshoes pub, which is very popular among the locals and it serves a great pub lunch that looks out onto that gorgeous view. You now join us in Henley-on-Thames. It's a lovely little town down by the river. So you're obviously separated from all of this at the property that we've seen today in the countryside, but it's great to have the benefit of having the town life all around you. So we've got some shops like Waitrose, some boutiques, some little art stalls that we've seen on the way through. Mm -hmm. So it's a really nice place. Nice to have that option to come here as well as having the countryside all around you. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this tour. We'll see you in the next video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Jazz and I are gonna go get some food right now because we're very hungry after today's filming. So Yeah, let's go see what Henley on Thames has to offer. See you guys next time. Mm-hmm. <laughs>